What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm back with Helion for another tips and tricks video. Today we're gonna be focusing on uh warp drives and finding things out in the you know Helion universe. Grab the helmet. Always do that. Grab the suit and grab the jetpack. Because these are the things we want for when we're traveling. We don't want this, you know, this helmet here. Just put it on the shelf. Put it right on there. Because this other suit is way better. Uh remove your outfit. Click that top right corner. And now let's do this piece by piece. Put that nice jetpack on. Give us like two hours of energy. It's a long time of oxygen. It's not exactly two hours, but it's a lot more. This is what I was talking about in that first tips and tricks video. This is inside the airlock. I docked it. Takes me about a minute now to do. Been knowing it a lot. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna head out to our ship and show you guys the warp drive and kind of go over how to find things using it. So I thought I would start here. There's going to be a few cuts in this video because warp times and waiting for activation times and stuff like that is not the most interesting thing to watch a video and wait for. Um, I've seen streamers been doing it a lot. They have like hour long warp times and play on two servers. You know, you, you learn a lot by playing the game. I'm going to say that right now. Even if you die, just keep trying because that's, that's how I learned. I, I mean, I warped around the universe or galaxy or whatever the hell it's called. About eight or nine times now. And let's see. Where's our magic ship? Select it. It says it's right there. Oh, there we are. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to go straight towards it. Um, When it comes to this stuff, there's a lot of questions and a lot of things that are not complete. Such as matching velocity is one of those things that I'm going to show you guys today. Hopefully, if I can get it just about right. Sometimes I can. I showed it in the f last video. You got a video on fueling and stuff. Um, the developers took that out of the game. And people keep question, you know, commenting, it's still in the game. I'm like, no, nope. The developers told me not to use it even if it was in the game because it actually breaks your game. Don't even hit F3. They, it says right in the AMA. If you guys want to read it, go to Reddit. Look up Hellion. There's a, it actually says don't use it. It causes game-breaking bugs. So unless you want to break your game, you know what I mean? And crash your server and shit like that. I wouldn't touch it. It causes most of the issues, they said. Is that one button. So don't hit F3. Especially trying to fucking match velocity. It's not in the game anymore. Um, so you gotta do everything manually. I'm, I'm just being, you know, telling you guys the truth. Uh, we are, There's a Discord for the game. I mean, you guys could probably get in it. I don't know how, we, you know, the invite came out in a weird way. But there is a Discord for the game. And, you know what I mean? If you want to look for it, you can. But the developers are in there. And they talk about things and take bug reports and stuff like that. I mean, I've broke this game a couple of times now. Where things get a little strange. Alright, we're going to repressurize up here. Get back onto what we're doing. My mic just cut out because my arm touched the thingy. Anyways. Let's see. If you had a hacking tool, you can actually, if this was locked, you can hack in through there. I found a hacking tool in a railgun. I found a railgun yesterday. That was a fun time. But I keep restarting. I keep learning. You know what I mean? I play on my own server so things are a little bit less laggy. Um, questions about the docking I had was how do I keep it so straight and stuff? Make sure your server is small population. The official servers are terrible. I want to say that right now. It's way harder on the official servers. There's way more lag. I mean, I play on a server that I, like, my partner in the Trotto actually hosts this server for me. So if you guys need a server, check out Natrato. I mean, they host my ARC servers. They host all my servers, so cool stuff. All right, we got all our stuff over here to show you guys warp drives today. All right, we're going to bring up our warp. Make sure you do this part. It's the only way you can actually power up your shit, get a capacitors going. I turn off the lights a lot. Turn them off. I don't exactly need the lights. And we're just going to hit X, get rid of our HUD. All right. Let's see. Click our switch. So we sit in the seat. We hit our right click. You know, zoom in. Turn on our faster than light drive. Warp drive, whatever you want to call it. Well, that's warming up. We're going to go look at these cells real fast. See what we started off with. All right. One almost dead. Two kind of dead. Please be green. Please be green. Uh, that's usually green, but I've heard horror stories. 
Um, if you ever run out of warp cells down in the cargo bay, just take the elevator down. There's new warp cells in a box. So let's get this underway and finding something using warp. All right. So we're going to hit nav. Here we are. We're right here. I'm going to double click. Here we are. Junk. Usually it'll change the ship eventually. And we're going to hit scan. Now this takes a little bit. If you guys watch the developer video, this is basically a similar concept, but a few things more explained. And we're looking for this weird, like, ion cloud that we're going to have around us. But it doesn't look like there's much in this area right now. Let's see. What do you got in your... Probably us, a module. Yeah, nothing to... Nothing I'm exactly excited about. Nothing? No, we're going to scan one more time. Just to make sure. We're going to zoom to our parent. Nope, doesn't look like anything around us. Alright, so we're going to warp out here. And I'm going to go to Illith real fast. What we're going to do is double click here. We're going to right click, add a custom orbit. And this orbit we can kind of design however we want. If we want to intersect with, say, the asteroid or something, you can make it happen. Just clicking and dragging, making a little bit of an orbit. I don't want to be too close to the planet. That way jumping is not that impossible. Alright, that's looking good. We'll start over on the light sides just so we can get power quickly. I'm going to turn on my warp drive. I'm going to turn on the cells. Acceleration too low. Alright, we're going to warp 2. Warp 2 is a little bit faster. And maneuver has started. Do not hit any keys. Only use your mouse. And find... The M. The M is going to move around. It's going to do crazy things. And this is where you just use your mouse, kind of line it up, and hold left shift. Get it back on the green. Hold left shift. If you hit WASD anything, it'll cancel this maneuver. So don't hit anything. Just sit there. So for those wondering, you can change, you know, all this stuff. If you want to cancel it, just move now. I'll show you guys the activation stuff in a second. And while this is going on, we're waiting for the last five seconds. That's where we have to click to confirm our maneuver. Um, let's, while we're in here, I'm going to click scan again. All right, so you can kind of see we're here. We're, jump, we're jumping to Illith. That's what that line means. And it's a pretty straight shot. That's why the warp wasn't that bad. Just jump to the other side of our home planet. Make sure I don't miss this click. Do -do -do. So if you guys have questions about the game, always ask in the comments. I might even make a video strictly on that one topic, such as I made a video all about refueling. People did not know how to refuel their bet jetpacks, how to do their RCS, how to dock. I made videos all on that stuff for you guys. But just ask the question. Like, honestly, I read every comment on these videos. I feel like the game is... Need, need some helping hands. Like, some people need to help out. And, like, I guess the way I'm saying it is players are... This game is hard. It's very hard. And you're going to need assistance from wherever you can get it. I mean, these videos, I hope, are helping everyone a little bit. And let's see. We got a three-minute warp. We could have messed with the time a little bit, got it a little bit closer. Things like that with the activation energies and stuff. But I'll be right back, guys, when we're closer. Because I'm not going to make you sit here for three minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming out of warp now. It's going to say maneuver interrupted as soon as we're coming out. And we're now around Illith. Nothing in the area, as you guys can see. We're going to go back to our nav. We're going to... And we got to click home station, zoom to parent. I'm just going to zoom way out as I lose my mouse cursor. That's one of the things I do often. All right, we're going to zoom back to our... Our little ship, all right, zoom to parent. I want our orbits back. Thank you, Illith. And there we are. We can see our warp path right there. We're in this new, you know, new orbit that we've created. And we're going to drop a scan. Hopefully find something useful. Anything, game? You got to sit and wait for a few seconds. It's, it's not instantaneous. Oh, my God. 
All right, so these this cloud mass that you see here, it has objects within it, junk, ships, another ship. There is other ships in this game, guys. I don't think there isn't. All right, what we want to do is I'm going to drop another scan. Usually I find the cloud. I'm kind of in this cloud. Usually you want to be closer to the center of the cloud. There's a lot of objects around it. Oh, my God. I've never actually got this many objects in one area. Usually it's just a small cloud with one object in it. All right, looks like we're not in a good spot to claim anything. I'm going to warp to this asteroid right here. Acceleration too high. We're going to go to warp one. Drop that. We're going to add a little bit of time. What I'm doing is clicking and dragging up on the time. So it's at just adding time. You click and drag up. Click and hold. Simple as that. All right. So this is another one of those waiting games. I'm going to be right back, guys. You know, same thing as before. Remember, aim at the M. Don't hit any WASD or anything. You know, your movement keys, just use your mouse and left shift. And I'll be back in a second, guys. Maybe I'll speed it up. I don't know. I just replaced my warp cells and stuff in the time. I mean, when you're in warp, you can move around your ship, do whatever you want. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Our warp is about to end. Maneuver ending. Maneuver interrupted. And we're here near the asteroid. It should be somewhere near us. Not what we're looking for today. Asteroids are good for mining. And if you need, you know, oxygen or something in your ship. Let's see. We're going to shoot out a scan. Hopefully find something. There we go. We found something. All right. I need to check one more time. So the weird thing about it is, because we're so close to something, it looks like there's a ship right here. Oh, God. That's like a station. As you can see, there's multiple ships put together right there. <clears throat> Keep losing my voice. So what we're going to do is click warp drive. I want it to be as close as possible to that point. Acceleration too high. Always too high. All right. Turn our time up. All right. We're going to go into minutes. And again, another cut for you guys to see. Oh, the asteroid is close to us. He wants us to match velocity with it. Oh, God. All right. Where are you, Mr. M? All we got to do is find the M. There we go. All right, so since we found an object, now I can warp to its exact location. And this is where things get interesting. I believe it's going to be a station. Um, from what I'm seeing, these multiple things in a line like that usually means station. Hopefully we can warp somewhat close to it. Sometimes you can't really get that lucky. I mean, once engines come in line... They are online right now, just overpowered. I wouldn't use them. Very dangerous. Um, we'll be able to kind of go to them, but kind of figuring out direction. It's kind of weird. Good luck trying to find something. I rather I'll probably end up using warp anyways. So when we're here, we're gonna be warping to here. Basically, what that means. We're gonna keep dropping scans out. I mean, we have plenty of time till our maneuver. Hopefully, scan the stuff. But each one of these block blankets of like clouding is objects and i mean we now have another object right up here somewhere towards the center you want to aim get your orbits within there you can use the planet to build an orbit you actually intersect right through the middle or just keep jumping to asteroids in the middle of it you know what i mean that's what i usually do there's a good chance this is going to be one of the outposts that people spawn on or it's going to be something crazy like someone playing on the server who's built a station i don't know yet We'll find out in a second. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds again. All right, guys, we're back. It's only a short maneuver. It's only about 45 seconds. So we'll see what happens here. As we're going through, I'm going to check out our little map. Make sure we're not near any of the puffs of smoke. I like to just keep hitting that scan as often as I can. Kind of lets me see 
if we can find anything new. Mostly looking for modules. Modules are good because you can dock those things up at home. Get some new stuff around base. Doesn't look like it. Alright, well we're heading to the what looked like a station to me. Alright, where are we looking? We're at 1.6. Alright, what we're going to do is point up. Actually, this might not be a station, guys. This may be an actual ship or something. Possible. Improbable, in fact, though. Alright, so what I'm going to do is point my nose towards it. There we go. And tap W while holding left shift. Try and burn towards it. I don't have them. I didn't refill my RCS because I'm a nub. But I should have. So we're just going to kind of float towards it at negative 40 meters per second. That's because it's behind us, technically, in the orbit, I believe. That one I cannot question. And what this is telling me is you can see the arrows there, you know. Right in front of us. There's an arrow pointing down and a big line at the top. That's telling me whether to burn up or down. So because it's pointing up, I believe I burn down. Yep. Now we're going to slow the fuck down. Alright. Kind of float. So it should be right in front of us, whatever it is. And it's flying right past us. Let's get closer. There's your ship. Where are you? Huh. Might have found one of those weird glitches. I cannot see the object that should be there. All right. There should be an object there. This may be one of those glitches where the object isn't actually loading in for me. That does happen. Yeah, there should be something awfully large right there. And it's not loading in. Very unfortunate. I'm kind of just burning RCS now to see if something is there. Let me go turn on my lights. Let's see. Let's see if the light panel will work. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think anybody thinks there. But that's how you find things, guys. You know, you're going to hit glitches. It's, it's a new game. As you can see, I'm kind of stuck here. But anyways, as bugs happen, they're going to happen. That's how you find things in the universe, guys. So make sure you check out more guides by Demo Storm. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful day.